always on my mind. We're going for the Elvis version of this one and we're in standard tuning, no capo, and the key of G major. So this is a very beginner friendly uh, song tutorial. I'll link to a chord sheet in the description of this video. And also uh, there are other versions of this song. Can you believe the Pet Shop Boys cover of this that kept the Pogues off number one? Um, <laughs> with Fairy Tale of New York. Um, so yeah, bit of trivia there for you. I always thought that was kind of bizarre, but I'm a fan of, of the Pet Shop Boys. But let's do this Elvis version. And the chords you will need are G major, which I like to play like this with all four fingers down because we can keep that third finger down when we move to the D major, which is the second chord. Next chord's E minor, C major, and we also have an A major in this song. And there are all the chords in this. When on the chord sheet that I link to, you'll need to click the simplify button to get that. I'm just link linking to an ultimate guitar chord sheet. Because it's a nice simple song and we can just play through this nice and easy with, with that chord sheet. So let me just strum once per chord. I will sing a little bit so you know where we are in the song, but apologies, I do not have Elvis's voice. Shock horror. Um, but it's a lovely one to sing along to. So we're on G major in one, two, three, four, G. Maybe I, then a D chord, entreat you. E minor, and it's a quick change here. E minor, D, C, D. So that's just two beats for each chord. The G and the D at first will a whole bar. Same again, G major, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, E minor, D, and then the next time it goes to that, it goes to A major, the first time it went to C. Let's go all through that again, fairly common, you know, it's almost a four chord song, really. Um, this, we just have that extra one shaking up the mold with the A major. From the top, from the G, one strum per chord, two, three, four, G. Maybe I didn't treat you, three, four, quite as good as I should have, three, four, you. Maybe I didn't love you, E minor, D, then A, E minor, D, then A. One strum for each chord here for the next bit, C major. Little things I should have G major said and done. It's then C, G, A minor. I didn't see the A minor the first time we were doing this. So apologies about that, but let's go through that. C major, G major, A minor. Really quick, G, E minor change, and then to D. Let me show you that bit in advance. Little things I should have said and done. C major, G major, A minor, G, E minor, D. You were always on my mind. And then we get to the chorus. So here's something I get asked a lot. How am I supposed to remember all those chords? And how, how am I supposed to learn songs quicker? So Because this is a super easy song, but to some people, the lack of repetition there is going to give some people problems. So let me try and help you with that. We have that general pattern of G, D, E minor C, which is a four chord song. That's one chord sequence you should know off by heart. Four chords in the key of uh, G in this case. G, E minor, D, C. And then from there, there's just some variations on that where we go to the A major. And also from there, there's this progression where we can... What you want to really learn is to be able to hear what we call a 4 to a 1 chord and a 5 to a 1 chord. And over time, any chord to a 1 chord. A couple of things you need to know there. Diatonic chords, so chords in a key of G. Done a ton of lessons on that. Just search them on YouTube, you find them. And then just how to recognize that 4 to 1, 5 to 1 chord progression, which I will link to just here. I'm going to um, make sure I link to that one because that is... There's musical keys, which is a key, but the real key to understanding and memorizing these chord progressions is just being able to hear and rem therefore remember audibly in your musical mind that 4 to a 1, 5 to a 1, and you can just like, kind of see a chord progression in your mind. I never remember letter names in an order like this. I'm just thinking 4 to 1, 5 to 1, uh, using what's called the Nashville number system, 
vocal cords in a key. That would be my tip for this. From there we got this chorus, you were always on my mind. G major, C major, D major, G, C, D, G. Can you hear how there's that da da da? It rem reminds me of Friends. Um, da da da. I saw Santa Claus, he said hello to Ross. There's a sound to this, and it doesn't matter what key we put it in, that sound is exactly the same. That's what we're remembering when we remember chord progressions, not really the letter names. So if you're still just remembering the letter names, work on that. Chords in a key and diatonic chords here in the change between the 4 to 1 and 5 to 1. All right, let's have a playthrough of this from the top because everything here is just a repetition of that verse and chorus. I mean, it's just, this song is an absolute standard. It's a classic song and... Uh, a lot of them do that, just repetition of verse and chorus. So all we're going to do on this one is just strum on the beat and play along to that chord progression. Join in with me from the G chord in one, two, three, four, one. Three to D major, three to you, three, four, E minor, D, C, two, three, four, G. Maybe I didn't love you E minor D A major 2, 3, 4 C major Little things I should have said and done C major G major A minor G E minor D You were always on my mind You were always on my mind It's going to be exactly the same as that for the second verse. So remembering those moves is the trick. Remember the finger mo motions and also just the general progression of the song. I'm not remembering the letter names personally because they're on the screen. I don't have to remember them. Remembering the other things that really helped as I talked about earlier. From a G chord. One, two, three, four. Maybe I didn't hold you. All those lonely, lonely times And I guess I never told you I'm so happy that you're mine C major If I made you feel second best Girl, I'm sorry I was blind you were always on my mind, always on my mind. You were always on my mind. And then, oh lordy, lordy, lord, there's a bridge. Uh, we call this, in the UK, we call this a middle eight. It's this section after the verse, chorus, verse, chorus, something else. Uh, in America, they call it a bridge. And it's, in this case, Kind of the same as the it's it's the same thing as the verse, just a different or um, same order, different length of time. So let's let me have a play through it as a demo. Three, four. Tell me, tell me that your sweet love hasn't died. Two strums per chord, I think, for every one of them. One, two, three. Two strums per each chord for every chord written. Play along, we should be able to do this by now because we've done all those changes already. Two, three, four. Tell D major, E minor, D. Tell me that your sweet love hasn't died. Give me, give me chance to keep you satisfied. Over the guitar solo, it's just the second half of that verse, that second line of the verse. So every chord written there, G, D, E minor, and A, a whole bar of each. And then we just keep going till the end of the song, basically. Let's have a look at this. Two, three, four. Da -da -do, do -do -do -do. Da -da -do, do 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 C major. 
little things I should have said and done. C, G, A minor, G, E minor, D. You were always on my mind, always on my mind. You were always on my mind. And then instrumental till the end. It's all the same. Just. If I was doing this just as a cover myself, I'd be ending it there. So, so little things I should have said and done, never cut the time. You were always on my mind. 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 Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. That's where I'd end it if I was doing an acoustic version of that. If you want to play along to the original recording, just follow that chord sheet there, basically. And that's the whole song, guys. Again, helpful stuff with chord progressions and remembering songs. I'll leave a couple of links on the screen now. And I hope to see you in another video. Plenty more Elvis songs on my YouTube channel and website as well. Hope to see you there, guys. Bye-bye.